this problem, we have two masses that are hung from, from strings, and the, the pivots are a distance d apart, like this. So each mass makes an angle of theta with the vertical. And we can calculate, well, the, the length of the strings is L. So we can calculate the, the total separation distance between the two masses. Because we know the total separation distance is going to be uh, little d plus 2L sine theta. So we are, we're told that one of the masses has a, a charge of positive Q and the other one has a charge of positive 2Q because it, it has twice as much charge as the first one. So the force of repulsion, the electric force of repulsion is this between the two masses. All right, so we can calculate, we can write this electrical force of repulsion in a, in a simpler way like this. So now the point is if the masses are in equilibrium, the, the total gravitational force pulling the masses down and has to balance out the electrical force that's keeping it up. So let's, let's just look at one of the masses. So if we look at the mass of 2Q, charge 2Q, there's a gravitational force pulling it down. And then there's the electrical repulsion force. So first of all, what is the component of this gravitational force that makes it uh, swing clockwise? It's that. Then the, the, the electrical repulsion force is going to the right. And the electrical repulsion force we, had, we knew had this magnitude. So this force has a component that's making it spin counterclockwise. And, and the magnitude of this component is just uh, the electrical force times the cosine of the angle. So the two components of force that are making it rotate in different directions have to be equal to each other so that the mass is in equilibrium. So all we have to say is that these two components of force are equal to each other. So the let's let's draw this again. Here we have the the component of gravity, which is mg sine theta, and the component of the electric force, which is f cosine theta. So we we just say that these two things are equal to each other. And now if we write down what what f is, the electrical repulsion force, it's we already had it from before. It's this. And then we just say that's equal to, to that. So now all we have to do is solve for Q. And then we find what, what the charge of the masses are. So this equation that we, we have, we solve for Q. And we find that, that Q is given by this expression. OK, so now it's just a matter of, of plugging in numbers for for the masses and for the angle and all these these things. We, we know these numbers because the problem gives it to us. So we know the mass, we know the gravitational constant, we know the angle is 10 degrees, and we know these numbers of what, as well, d and the length of the string and so forth. The, the constant k is 9 times 10 to the 9. So we just calculate, we multiply all these numbers out, and we calculate what Q is. Now it's just a matter of plugging in to a calculator, and we get the following number. Q is equal to, to this, this many coulombs. So one of the charges has a charge of that, and the other charge has twice as much charge, which is this much.